guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about the iPhone SE and we're going to be seeing if this phone is worth it in 2017, a year later than it was originally released. This is actually my dad's phone but he let me do a video on this and I just think this is a great video idea for you guys who are wondering about the iPhone SE and in, are looking into buying this phone in 2017. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the iPhone SE. It stands for Special Edition and Apple made this phone in 2016. Now this phone has the body of the iPhone 5 but it has the internal specs of the iPhone 6s. The phone is available in four different colors namely gold, silver, rose gold and space grey. At launch the phone was available at 16GB and 64GB but it was upgraded to 32GB and 128GB. Since the phone has the body of the iPhone 5s, it is very small and compact, so it's great for people who have smaller hands and who want to reach all four corners with just one hand. So this is perfect for you guys who don't like all these big phones that we have gotten released the past few years. Okay, so now let's get into the specs of this phone. So the phone has a 4-inch LED blacklit widescreen multi-touch display which has 640 by 1136 pixels. It has an A9 chip embedded with an M9 coprocessor. And this phone has 2 gigabytes of RAM. So what this basically means is this phone has a lot of power for this small build that it is in. And it is basically very usable. It's fast. It works for people who are just usual consumers who are just looking for a good phone to use every single day. So this phone does not have any 3D touch, but it does use a long press. So this phone is running on the iOS 11 beta. So if you scroll up to the control center, you will see if you have a long press, it will basically do the same as a 3D touch on different phones. So even though your phone does not have 3D touch, it still has a long press feature. Now for the camera. This phone has a 12 megapixel camera with an f2.2 aperture. So basically this phone can take pretty decent photos. And as for videos, it does film in 4K video at 30 frames per second. So you can go into settings and adjust that as you want it to be. But it goes up to 4K video. And for the selfie camera, it has a front-facing camera of 1.2 megapixels with an f2.4 aperture and it does use live photos with a long press. So the phone has a built-in speaker which has relatively good audio quality and it is compatible with the AirPods for people who do like to use those most of the time. But the phone also has a headphone jack for those people who don't really like the removal of the headphone jack at all. Since the phone has the M9 coprocessor, it does have the convenient feature of raised to wake. And the phone does have the first generation of the Touch ID, but that is just a little slower than the second generation. Overall, I think this phone is worth it in 2017. It is a great phone for people with small hands who want small compact phones, but also for people who are on a budget and want a good quality iPhone, but don't want to pay as much as for the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus or things like that. So the cost of this phone, if you want to buy it totally new, is about $399 to $499. And in Rand, it's about 6999 Rand to 8,999 Rand. Second hand value of this phone is very good. It does keep its value. It's about 3,500 to 4,000 Rand and we like to buy and sell phones here in South Africa and use apps like Gumtra and LX. So I really think the second hand value of this phone is very good. So you really pay for the quality of your phone. This phone does perform better than most older Android phones. And I really think this phone is great for your average consumers who are just looking for a phone every day and is not into all that techie stuff but is just looking for a great iPhone to use. I really really recommend this phone in 2017. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the iPhone SE and if you have one what you think about it in 2017. Definitely subscribe, I would really appreciate that and we'll see you guys in my next video. Be weird and be proud of it. Love you guys so much, bye!